Hello all, uh, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video, we will see how to find the Laplace transform of a triangular pulse. So, as you can see, this uh, there is a triangular pulse over there. So, to find the Laplace transform of a triangular pulse, uh, there are two steps. First one is uh, represent the triangular pulse into or uh, as a uh, sum of known functions and then find the Laplace transform. So, uh, what does this mean? To represent the triangular pulse into uh, some of known functions. As you can see, we are familiar with the unit step function. And we are also familiar with ramp function. So and so on. These are the basic functions. And we know the Laplace transform of these functions. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have made a video about uh, representing any signal in terms of unit step and ramp function. So you can uh, watch that in my playlist. You will get to know how to represent any signal in terms of these basic functions. So as you can see, uh, there is a triangular pulse. We can represent this triangular pulse in terms of only ramp function. So that's what I mean by represent, uh, saying uh, representing the triangular pulse to some of known functions. So that is a step one and second step is nothing but uh, finding the Laplace transform of the sum. This uh, sum which is calculated in the first step. So we will follow these rules to find out the Laplace transform. <coughs> so in order to find the Laplace transform of triangular pulse you need to represent it in terms of unit step function and ramp function. So sometimes uh, you may need to represent it in only in terms of unit step function or only in terms of ramp function. So this is one of the examples where you need to represent it only in terms of a ramp function. So what is a ramp function? A ramp function is one uh, which looks something like this. This is P U of T. Then this is time axis and this is y axis. So this is zero. So, with the help of uh, this ramp function, we will manipulate this uh, to represent this triangular pulse. So, as you can see, this is x axis of t. So, this x of t can be represented as t u of t. That is, uh, this is first line, okay. t u of t means it will continue till infinity. So, but we don't want that. We want our waveform to follow this direction. So, to do that, we need to subtract another ramp function with twice the magnitude as this okay so to do that uh, we can uh, subtract the ramp at t is equal to 1 with twice the magnitude so it will look something like this it means uh, at the same time this will cover 1.1 .1, that because this is one magnitude so but this ramp will cover minus 0.2. So what is the sum 1.1 minus 0.2 is equal to 0.9. Okay. So that is here. So it will follow this way. So this way it will follow uh, till infinity. So as you can see uh, the same way here we can see 0.5 minus 0.5. At that time it will cover some uh, distance here so it will be the total sum will be here so it will continue till uh, infinity but we don't want that to happen we want our waveform to end here so it means uh, we need to add another ramp over here so some the sum of these two will be will follow the zero axis line so in terms of uh, mathematical representation what we do we will subtract here t times uh, two times t minus one u of t minus 1. So that is this term, this ramp. This can be represented as 2 times t minus 1 u of t minus 1. So same thing we can do t minus 2 at here u of t minus 2. So this is how uh, we represent x of t. So if we find the Laplace transform of these two, I mean this x of t, that is nothing but the Laplace transform of this triangular pulse. So apply Laplace 
transform. So we can see what is the final output. So as you can see, I have represented the triangular pulse x of t in terms of ramp function. Okay, time shifted ramp function. So now we need to find out the Laplace transform. Apply Laplace transform on both sides. That will give us x of s is equal to Laplace transform of t u of t is 1 by s square. Okay. And Laplace, uh, this two will remain same. Laplace transform of t minus one into u of t minus one is nothing but e of e raised to minus s upon one by s square. This is one which will come here. Okay. So and then next step is Laplace transform of t minus two u of t minus two. That is nothing but e raised to minus two s one by s square. So x of s is nothing but one by e s square. 1 minus 2 to the power 2 into e raised to the power minus s plus e. this is e raised to minus 2s. So this is nothing but Laplace transform of triangular pulse which is shown in the figure. So that's how you find out the triangular I mean Laplace transform of a triangular pulse. If you have any doubts please use the comment section and uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Uh, thank you.